Dear distinguished colleagues, fellow researchers and judges, today I'm excited to present you a groundbreaking project called the Orchard OCD Registry, developed through a collaborative effort between Orchard OCD and the University of Hertfordshire. OCD, as you all know, is a debilitating disorder that affects between 1 to 3% of the global population. It not only takes a heavy toll on individuals with OCD themselves, but also on their families' lives. OCD also significantly increases the risk of suicide among sufferers. Sadly, the situation has become even more challenging due to the COVID-19 pandemic which has contributed to an increase in the onset and relapse of OCD cases. Still, our current first-line treatments for OCD, whether pharmaceutical or psychological, fall short in effectively helping up to 40% of patients. And this is where the Orchard OCD Registry comes into play. The registry is indeed a pioneering initiative with a clear objective, addressing the pressing need for enhanced and more effective OCD treatments. We recognize that clinical trials often face challenges in recruiting enough participants to produce reliable results. So the registry seeks to expedite OCD research by facilitating participant recruitment. And how does it do so? Well, by aggregating a substantial number of individuals with OCD within a single database, the registry aims to streamline the process of finding suitable participants for different research projects. This will in turn enhance the reliability of research outcomes and will support a deeper understanding of OCD. But how does the OCD registry work? Well, the registry, launched in March 2023, is currently open for registration to all individuals in the UK aged 18 or above who have either been diagnosed with OCD or suspect they may have it. The registry is also open to OCD researchers from all over the world for both in-person and online studies. Researchers interested in advertising their studies on the registry can easily do so by contacting the registry team via email or by clicking a link on the OCD registry website, providing essential information about their study, and once their study passes the necessary checks, it will be registered and advertised to potential participants. People with OCD who wish to enroll in the registry will have to complete an online registration form, which collects in, which collects important information, including their demographics and details about their OCD history, past and present medications and therapy, comorbidities and family history of OCD, thereby contributing to a comprehensive database for research purposes. As of September 2023, we had 94 people with OCD enrolled in the registry and nine studies being advertised. However, considering that an estimated 750,000 people are living with OCD in the UK, if just one out of 15 of these individuals enlists in the registry, we expect 50,000 OCD sufferers to be enrolled in the registry by January 2026, and these numbers are likely to grow exponentially once the registry will expand internationally. So to conclude, the Orchard OCD Registry is a remarkable endeavor that bridges the gap between individuals living with OCD and researchers. It addresses the critical need for improved OCD treatments especially in a world where the prevalence of this disorder is on the rise. And by streamlining participant recruitment, the OCD registry provides a significant potential for driving OCD research forward and, most importantly, enhancing the lives of those affected by this very challenging disorder. Thank you very much for listening.